you're interested in getting rid of those unsightly letterboxes, you will do well to follow this quick and easy guide. Although you still have narrow black bars on the side of the screen, it's still a huge improvement over running a game in the native aspect ratio. Most GameCube games use gecko codes to run games in widescreen. I'll use Wind Waker as an example since it's a very popular title among Dolphin users. By right-clicking on the game's profile, you can access features like the wiki page. Once the site opens, head over to the Aspect Ratio Fix section and copy the gecko code. First take note of the versions available though. I have the US NTSC version, so this is the one I'll be going for. After highlighting the code, right-click and copy it. Once you're back in Dolphin, go to the game's profile again. But this time select Properties. Click the Gecko tab and create your custom widescreen hack, using the provided code you copied from the wiki page. When you're done, just click Save. You can activate or deactivate the hack at any time. You should also force the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. If you use auto, the hack might cause issues in-game when transitioning between scenes. There are two things to take note of though. Not all games have widescreen hacks available, in which case you'll have to use the generic widescreen hack. It's not as good as getting the hack straight from the wiki page, but if it's your only option, activate it here. Also, a few games do become buggy when using widescreen hacks. Luckily most games run flawlessly. If you found this guide useful, please remember to give a like. Have a nice day and thank you for watching. Goodbye.